Shalom everyone, it's Tirza. In this week's Parsha, Nazo, we will direct our attention to a figure mentioned in the Haftar portion. His name is Samson. He was what we call a Nazarite, a person who was set apart for divine service by undertaking certain restrictions. The whole story surrounding Samson's birth is very fascinating. First of all, because his mother was barren, an angel appeared and informed her that she was going to give birth to a child. And this child, the angel instructed, was to be a lifetime Nazarite, because he was going to save the Jewish people from the Philistine oppression they were enduring at that time. At an early age, Samson realized that he possessed a remarkable strength, and he sought the occasion to vent revenge on the enemy. Through his strength and persona, he was able to maintain peace in the land for 20 years as he was recognized as judge and chief of Israel at that time. However, he fell in love and married a Philistine woman named Delilah. She succeeded in getting Samson to reveal the secret of his superhuman strength and while he was asleep, she cut off his hair. The story goes on and his force is renewed and he dies giving his life for the people and killing more Philistine enemies than he had done before. In a way or another, we can all relate to this story. We may not have superhuman powers, but we do possess special abilities and strengths. Hashem has given us the tools, the claim to perform greatness in this world, and no one can replace our unique abilities. The concept of Emunah Shalema, or complete faith, also includes believing in yourself and in your abilities. Hazal, however, says that the greater the person, the greater the Yetzir Hara, the evil inclination. Therefore, we must increase the precautions and always get ourselves back on track, just like we learned above, that Samson fell into a trap. This way, we will not distance ourselves from fulfilling our unique purpose. And always remember, don't try to blend in if you are set apart for something greater. Just remember, get yourself back on track whenever needed. I truly hope you get something out of this message and I want to wish you a good Shabbos. Have an amazing Shabbat.